So you see, this idea started when I got annoyed at a very young student having difficulty understanding where the notes were on the fingerboard. So I took a piece of paper like this and placed it under the strings. At this point, I took a pencil and drew circles around an A on the G string, first finger, then E, then B, then F sharp. I then did the same for B natural and continued with F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Then I did the same thing for C natural. Then G, then D, then A. Okay. I then asked them what they saw, and they said that the notes were all across from each other. I smiled. And you see, the idea of the fingering board was born. Well, the fingering board is a model made up of circles spaced a half step apart from each other. By imagining fingers in these spaces, we can build the patterns found in the tetrachords of our scales. What's a tetrachord? Well, tetrachords come from the Greek word tetra, or four, and chord meaning string. In ancient Greek theory, a tetrachord was a system of four notes, four, contained within the limits of a perfect fourth. This system serves as a basis for melodic construction and understanding and producing major and minor scales. By using half steps and whole steps, we are able to understand how our four fingers arrange themselves into the tetrachordal patterns necessary to make scales on the violin. This understanding leads us towards an aural and visual approach to note recognition, pitch understanding, and correction, and so much more. In France, I used my fingering board with a bit of interval training from the piano for my beginning students, the ones that I started at five and a half. I played half and whole steps for them. I even made this computer game. <laughs> this was certainly one of the reasons for the success of these students with regard to pitch and other things. 